you are. Hey, it's Speedy Canuck here, and I heard that the Boss Garage is having an online car show, which I think is a fantastic idea because with the pandemic, I didn't get to go to a single car show last year because nobody's hosting one. So the online one, I think is a fantastic idea. Now, you kind of caught me with my pants down because <laughs> I tore my car apart, but I'm not going to miss this opportunity to show it off because I'm proud of what I've done. I love what's happening with this car and we'll see who out there likes it as much as I do. So I'm gonna give you a walk around and show you what I got. So what we have here is a 1968 Pontiac Le Mans. I've had this car for about 12 years now and this car is slowly turning into everything I want it to be. Now, obviously I've torn it apart because I'm finally painting it. After 12 years of being a primer, it's, uh, it's finally getting the love it needs. I'm gonna try and make this as quick as possible. So we're gonna start with the body first. Starting at the back, I mean, it's hard to tell because it's not there, but I did a 1969 conversion. So I changed the trunk lid, bumper and tail lights. I've shaved everything on this car. No door handles, no mirrors, no antenna, any of the body lines that you usually see down here, the seams. I have welded in solid and no, they're not gonna crack because I welded them 10 years ago and no cracks. Some of the modifications that I've done, aside from body, um, I've done a C5 Corvette brake upgrade. We've got tubular control arms in the front, larger sway bar, disc conversion in the back, Tubular control arms again. The whole chassis has been painted and shaved down. Like there's no, a lot of the factory holes have been filled in from, I welded them in, smoothed them out. It's got a bit of a C notch in here because this thing is bagged. I've got slam specialties in the back and ride tech in the front. It's kind of hard to tell, but you know, anyone that knows ride tech stuff knows that's the top of a shockwave right there. And stopping those calipers, we've got a Wilwood master cylinder, proportioning valve, and I switched to a hydro boost setup. That's actually out of a uh, 2000, I think a 2002, 2001 Astro van. Engine wise, six liter LS that I put together myself. Twin turboed, <laughs> she makes some steam. Um, currently we're sitting at a, a, you know, modest conservative 16 pounds of boost and I made 560 wheel. We've got, uh, you know, intercooler up front. This is all, this was a budget build. I did everything on this car myself. I've been doing the body work myself, all the modifications, the suspension work. I did it all myself. I bought myself a TIG welder, taught myself how to TIG weld, and I did the whole turbo kit myself. I'm just your average guy. So, you know, we did eBay turbos, eBay intercooler, most of the stuff you see on this car is, is all eBay. Like lower control arms, upper control arms, those are all eBay. Cheap stuff, but it works. And, uh, you know, engine's holding up great. Um, it's backed by a Turbo 400. That's the only thing I didn't do myself. I'm not a tranny guy. Sent it out to professionals and uh, 
It's 900 horsepower capable. Um, going out the back, it's still the stock, it's still the stock 10 bolt uh, housing. If you can see them there. But it's got an Auburn Posi in it, and we've got some 10 factory axles. Uh, you know, just minor upgrades to keep it together. This is still a streetcar in every way. Um, and because I like customizing stuff, we've got a center console out of a 2008 Grand Prix. I've got a, a B&M Pro Stealth shifter. Made my own, uh, I don't know what you want to call it here, like an entertainment system, I guess. It's just fiberglassed it all. Did my own gauge cluster. And this is all run by a Holly Terminator, so I got that screen mounted up there. And then we threw some cheap racing seats in and stuff like that. We've got full stereo. So I fiberglassed the rear deck lid, threw some JL speakers in there. W7, uh, it's about one of the heaviest subs you can get. Um, I, like, I like loud music. This car is everything I want it to be. Like it's, I want something fast. I can take to the track. I can drive to the grocery store. I drive this thing to work. Um, you know, I'm not looking to win any, any races. I mean, if I was, I wasn't gonna have all that stereo in the back. I'm rolling around on 20s, right? Like, The idea of this online car show is a fantastic idea. I mean, with the pandemic, it's, it's all we can do right now. So I can't wait to see everyone else's rides. And you know, if you like what you see here, <laughs> I'll take any votes I can get. And uh, you know, hopefully the next time I see you guys, it'll be in person at a car show when this pandemic is over with, because that's, that, that's, that's how I like to spend my days is, is enjoying other people's cars and, and let people enjoy this. So that's it for now. We'll see you later.